Coming Out to the Ballpark by Lara Serrier Illustrated by John Kurtz Late one Sunday afternoon, Grandpa was reading the sports page. Evan was trying to do his homework, but he couldn't think because Grandpa was grumbling. Grandpa, what's the matter? asked Evan. They are going to tear down Shea Stadium soon, said Grandpa. It's a great old baseball park. I remember when it opened back in 1964. Grandpa chuckled to himself. I sound just like my dad, Great Grandpa Jim. Abbott's Field was his favorite ballpark. He loved watching the Dodgers play there. He was really sad when Abbott's Field was torn down and the Dodgers left New York. I wish I could have seen a game at that famous old park. That would have been cool, said Evan. Grandpa looked at Evan. Would you want to see a game at Shea Stadium before it's gone? He asked. Yes, said Evan. I've never been there. Summer will be here soon, said Grandpa. Maybe we could visit other famous old baseball parks, too. We could take a trip to Fenway Park in Boston and Wrigley Field in Chicago. Awesome, I'm in, said Evan. A few days later, Evan and Grandpa walked into Shea Stadium. They hurried to their seats. They wanted to see the Mets practice before the game started. They didn't want to miss anything. The game was great. It went into extra innings. And the Mets won. Evan and Grandpa cheered. The crowd went wild. The next day, Evan said, That was great. Now I can't wait until our trip. We'll drive to Boston, said Grandpa. Then we'll drive to Chicago. Evan counted the days until their trip. Soon it was time for them to drive to Boston. They drove on the highway for a long time. Finally, they reached Boston. They parked their car on the curb and walked to the ballpark. Soon, they were outside it. People were selling all kinds of food on the street. I can't believe we're at Fenway Park, said Evan. This is the oldest ballpark in baseball, said Grandpa. It was built in 1912. Look, there's the green monster, said Evan and he pointed to the left field wall. I'm glad my first trip to Fenway Park is with you, Grandpa. Grandpa squeezed Evan's hand. The Red Sox played a great game, and when the final batter was up, there were players on all three bases. The batter hit a grand slam, and all four players scored. The crowd roared and cheered. I hope that they never tear down this wonderful old park, said Grandpa. Grandpa and Evan took a few days to drive from Boston to Chicago. They couldn't wait to see Wrigley Field. The park is right in the middle of downtown Chicago, explained Grandpa. Some fans wait outside the park to catch home run balls. Some fans even watch games from rooftops. Finally, they were at Wrigley Field to see the Cubs. It was a night game. They were playing the Mets. This is great, said Evan. We got to see the Mets play again. It was an exciting game. The score was tied. (laughs) The best batter on the Mets was up. He stepped into position. He swung at the first pitch and missed. He missed again. Three balls went by. Grandpa and Evan cheered as loud as they could. The batter swung and hit the ball. It was a home run and the Mets won. It took a few days for Grandpa and Evan to drive home. Once they were home, they talked about their favorite times of the trip. Going on tour of famous baseball parks was so much fun, Grandpa. Thanks, said Evan. I had lots of fun too, said Grandpa. Maybe you'll go with your grandpa one day, or with your grandson one day. Grandpa, I have an idea for next year, said Evan. What if we visit new baseball parks? We could go to City Field to see the Mets. And then we can go see the new Yankee Stadium. We can even go to the National Parks in Washington. And then we can go to... Awesome! I'm in, said Grandpa.